This right here looks disgusting. This is an iodine and uh, baking soda cocktail for my finger, which just got bit by Scolopendra subspinipus, or uh, envenomated, let's say. It's late at night. This one is much smaller than this one, obviously. This is very discolored. It was a horrifying pain, to say the least. But once I got it in here, I'm watching The Walking Dead, by the way. Anyways, <laughs> I suck it in here, but first of all, I sucked uh, the bite zone immediately after it happened, less than 10 seconds after it happened. I put extreme suction force on the bite zone. Um, it did not clear up the venom, I'm not going to say that by any means. Um, and I don't know if it did anything, but I know last time I got hit by something like this, uh, I didn't do that, and it was much, much, much worse. Uh, this was horrible. This was terrible, 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 to say the least. But it wasn't like the last time. Anyways, um, I, I sucked it as hard as I could, and I did that for a good, like, couple minutes. I got a lot of blood out. I mean, I, I was spitting out blood every 30 seconds, but sucking as hard as I could. And then once, uh, you know, I got this concoction mixed up, which is iodine and um, baking soda. I stuck my finger in it, let it soak in there. And it hurt real bad for a long time, but it did stop hurting a lot faster than the last subspinifus bite I got dead. So anyways, that was a good way to do it. Uh, I don't know if this helped uh, at all. Maybe I was lucky. I don't think I sucked out the venom. I don't even know that that's possible. <laughs> but it was just like a natural reaction kind of thing. It, it felt terrible. Anyways, uh, that's what I did. And my finger does not hurt. And it is maybe uh, two hours after the envenomation. It's barely, barely more than a polymorpha, which is just not even bad at all. It's very tolerable. So, anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have a good night. Subscribe.